hello uh, this is basically the setup I have here and this is a stretched balloon and a mirror and below is a speaker and basically the laser pointer reflects off this mirror and I can play different sounds below to get different patterns on the wall and next I'm gonna show you what kind of patterns we get with different kinds of music and different frequencies um, hello um, I have darkened the room so that you can see the patterns formed by the laser uh, much more clearer than in a lit room and as I told you the setup is still the same and I am going to play a single frequency sound first as you can see there is a nice ellipse um, formed this ellipse is because of the single frequency and the balloon membrane is actually vibrating at around 182 times a second next I'm gonna play two different frequencies simultaneously yeah I'm gonna play two different frequencies simultaneously uh, as you can see this is two different frequencies that are very close to each other being played um, simul simultaneously it produces a moving pattern because the frequencies are out of phase with each other um, now I'm going to actually play a bass sweep so basically the frequency increases and the pattern actually changes And finally, I'm actually going to play a piece of music. For the next demonstration, I'm going to put this hex nut inside this balloon and blow it up. Yes, I have inflated the balloon with a hex nut resting inside. Now what I'm going to do is spin the balloon. As you can observe, the hex nut is actually rotating inside actually spinning inside and creating this roaring now noise and the hex nut actually is spinning inside because of a force known as centripetal force and the sound is because the edges are causing the balloon to vibrate so you have that roaring noise it's actually very simple it just needs a, you just need a hex nut and a balloon